What is good YouTube? It's your boy Barjix today and today we finally ordered a new controller for the Switch because Joy-Cons are trash. Anyways, we're gonna go see if it's in the mailbox and hopefully we get it. Let's go. For the moment of truth, we're gonna see if we got our package today. And we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it guys. Oh yeah, delivered to Barjix. Okay, so we got our mail today and um, we're gonna unbox this, so stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're a Nintendo Switch fan. And um, I don't know, man. Let's go. We have this, bro. Um, um, let's go. So anyways guys, here's the controller, um, it's still in packaging, the things around the analog is just to protect it, <laughs> the analog are not that big, obviously. And I'm about to take the Joy-Cons off and try to put it in the controller thing and let's see. Um, yeah, I haven't used a lot of controllers. What is this? Uh, probably uh, garbage. Um, is it the manual? Garbage. Um, so yeah, let's take these off. These are like the safety protectors. So you can you come with actually like three different analog choices. You can change them. Uh, the analogs feel really nice, I must say. It's, pr it's pretty massive guys, but it's not heavy though. That's the best part about it. Here's the back. We have back triggers on here. You can map to anything you'd like to use it for in the game. Um, yeah, let's the moment of truth. Let's finally let me just blow it off first. Um, yeah, so we're gonna slide the switch into the Dolby controller, and this is the best part, guys. And also, you gotta connect. You gotta slide it in properly. Be careful. The bottom has a USB port, like the charger. You gotta plug it into the uh, the switch because it's like a uh, it's connected like a uh, USB controller. It works perfectly fine. The analogs feel so good. You guys will definitely love this. Um, all right, let's test it out. Feels so good in the hand. It's a good grip. The triggers feel really nice, and um, I would definitely recommend this. Like, this is really good. Um, yeah, here it is, guys. So first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you go into settings and make sure that um, you turn on Pro Wired communication that has to be on because this 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 type of joy con grip is like uh, it's connected like a wired controller even though it is like joy cons because it's connected at the bottom and you can charge under the bottom fast charge so that's really good so i'm just checking the setting here, settings here to make sure that everything is intact and where it's supposed to be um i'm gonna go ahead and test out the buttons and see okay all right so all the buttons are working we're gonna play a little bit of asphalt um they say the controller has garo gyroscope um it has gyro on it so we're gonna test it out and see if that's true um i've never gotten a controller that has gyro for the switch this is like a pro grip i would say um so yeah my controller is set to the second controller because my joy cons are connected so you guys want to make sure you disconnect your joy cons and set these as the player one so you can play the games and this pro, pro wired communication it gotta be on and also this controller cannot use amiibo just to let you guys know all right, so we're all connected. Uh, we're about to hop into a race. And um, yeah, let's just see if the gyro works. And the vibration also, I wanna see if the vibration works. Cause this controller does support haptic feedback, but it's not HD rumble like the Joy-Cons, but the rumble is pretty good actually. Um, I'm about to hop into a game right now and you guys can see. All right, let me start it up.
Oh yeah, I forgot. For this game, the buttons are already set to button controls. Let me turn it to Joy-Con tilt. And yeah, let's test it out, guys. Let's see if it works. Got my fingers crossed. Oh yeah, guys, it works perfectly. The gyro is really good on here. And I can feel vibration too, like when I crash and stuff. The vibration is so good. I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the vibration. The gyro is accurate, guys. I would recommend this controller. And it's, it's just around $45. I'll leave a link in the bio so you guys can purchase this. Here are the back triggers at the back. You can set each button for any button you want to set it on on the controller. So that's pretty handy if you're playing like Fortnite or Apex. You know what I mean? Instead of like taking your hands off the analog, you can use the back triggers. Yeah, so it's really nice. All, the All right, guys, so we're about to play some Fortnite with the new Joy-Cons. I'll stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. Hopefully, I get a dub. Okay. Also, if you guys want to set the shortcut buttons, you got to hold the plus button like this, press the button you want to map. The button at the bottom left is, is going to blink, and you press the button once more, and it will map. So I mapped the back button to the crouch button, which is the, when you press the analog. So look, if I press the button at the back, you're going to crouch. So you can set the shortcuts for whatever you like or depend on it. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I have to say, thank you Dobie for sending me this controller. I, I love it. If I had to give it from 1 to 10 stars, I'd give it a 9.5 um let me take it out anyways Dolby, thank you guys for this controller it's so awesome i love these the reason why i give it a 9.5 and not a 10 is because sometimes you're playing you might hit these bad triggers by mistake you got to get used to it but it does come with analogs you can change and it's massive but it fits the switch so perfectly i mean it won't fall out guys and it's plugged into the bottom okay but anyways guys I'm gonna start posting videos with using this, so you guys should stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from Barjix. Um, I'm gonna play some Fortnite, so enjoy.